Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. Summer is just round the corner, and that means two things. First and foremost, we're all going to do a little sunscreen shopping. And second of all, it means there's going to be an awful lot of sunscreen-sponsored content here on YouTube. This week, there's been an explosion in content creators sharing their sponsored views, thoughts, and opinions when it comes to the best Korean, and also some other European sunscreens too. Now, I have no issue with sponsored content at all. You know, everyone's going to make their own coin in their own way. But it's not something I personally do here on Mad About Skin. And so I thought, well, let me share with you my unsponsored, unfiltered top five Korean sunscreens that you might want to take a look at for your own skincare routine in 2023. Sit back, relax, let's talk the best summer sunscreens. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know your own experience with any of the products mentioned in today's video. I always say these are just my thoughts, feelings and opinions, and your experiences and outcomes are just as valid, and I want to hear them. So stand up in the comments section below and let's get that conversation going. Whatever your thoughts on the products, if you enjoy this style of content, looking at top fives, the best of the best, in a completely unsponsored way, let me know by giving the video a big thumbs up and a like. This truly is the best way of supporting me as a content creator, because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So in this list, I'm going to be going from fifth position, still an amazing sunscreen, but in fifth place right the way through to first place, that ding, 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 holy grail sunscreen. A couple of disclaimers before I do get started. So whilst I do use all of these sunscreens in my skincare routine, they're not my daily go-to. For that, I use this. This is the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate SPF. I created my own sunscreen because I really wanted a product that was a moisturizer and an SPF all in one, and I'm so incredibly proud of this product. My skin type is generally oily and acne prone, and so it feels quite heavy if I use a moisturizer and a sunscreen next to each other. So by creating a product that kind of delivers what you expect from a Korean sunscreen, in that lightweight, that elegant application, but with more meaningful levels of hydration, I think you almost get like a two-in-one moisturizer and sunscreen with this product. It's packed full of moisturizing agents, humectants, calming and soothing ingredients, and a blend of different UV filters, which gives you SPF 50 plus coverage, but some great animation broad spectrum UVA protection too. This, like I say, is my go-to daily sunscreen and I've linked it in the description box below as I will all the products mentioned in today's video. But you know, sometimes I like to mix it up. Maybe my skin doesn't need as much hydration on one day, so I'll opt for one of the others that I'm gonna call out today. Sometimes I crave a little fragrance. This product is fragrance-free, which is my preference day in, day out, but sometimes when I crave the element of the sensorial, there's a couple of fragrance sunscreens here that I wanna call out. So there truly is something for everyone. If you find that your sunscreen, whichever one you choose, sometimes, you know, is a little bit too greasy, it may be dewy on the skin in certain areas, and you want to mattify it down. A top tip I always share with people is get a little of this in your life. This is the Hylamide HA Blur. At the moment, this is like 50% off because they are discontinuing it, but there's still plenty of stock. Get some of this in your life because... Whatever your favourite sunscreen, if you find it translates a little bit too greasy, particularly throughout the day in certain areas, just put a little of this over the top. This is something I experienced in my T-zone, namely, you know, between the brows, on the nose. I'll apply whichever sunscreen I want to reach for, which plays beautifully on the skin, and then I'll put a little of this over on those greasy areas, and it just keeps it matte all day long. This is like a top tip of making whatever sunscreen you have work no matter what your skin's doing in that day. For us oily skinned folk out there, this could be a holy grail hack that'll just mean you don't have to constantly cycle out and switch your sunscreens up. You could just use a little of this to make it work across the entire skin, particularly directed on those oily areas. Now, in fifth position, I want to talk about this product. This is the Make Prem Airy Light Physical Sunscreen Stick Formulated with Zinc. <laughs> you'll notice with all of these Korean sunscreens. They have ridiculously long names. I don't know why I didn't choose the names and it is impossible to read out. So like I said, I've left links in the description box to all of these products. You don't need to type it out in full. The links are there for your convenience. But this I like as my go-to sun stick. So I don't tend to use stick sunscreens as my first application. I, I worry that I'll miss areas. You need to use a lot of the product to actually get the coverage. So I'll tend to go in with the Mad About Skin sunscreen on a morning, applying two thin layers of it with like a minute gap in between to guarantee that full coverage. If you want to know how I actually apply my sunscreen, I'll link a video I did sharing that up there. But then throughout the day, if I want to touch up, if I want to reapply, particularly if you're reapplying over makeup, a sun stick can be a great option. Um, this one by Make Prem is probably one of my favorites. 
The reason I enjoy this one is it's got some zinc in here, so it's a um, hybrid sunscreen rather than a purely chemical one, so something a little bit different, and it blends in, leaving behind just a faint amount of dewiness. It's not deadpan matte like a lot of other zinc sunscreens, which I appreciate. Sometimes they can come across as almost chalky. Not with this, it just glides onto the skin and you don't even need to rub it in. You can just apply it like that so it doesn't disturb your makeup and your skin looks great as a result. Um, definitely one to be used as a top up, a reapplication rather than your original application. But yeah, there's no tackiness, there's no stickiness. It is like perfectly matte with just a hint of dewiness to prevent any chalky look. A really, really great option, but you know, you do get through this quite a lot. So like I said, reapplication rather than that initial first application in my preference. So in fourth position is a holy grail that I know a lot of people have been calling out. This is featured heavily in a lot of those sponsored content creator videos that I referenced earlier. Um, and it says, this is the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. You know, even without a sponsorship, I would rave about this time and time again because it's such a beautiful formulation. Um, I think it was Cassandra Bankson that first started fangirling about this and this then led things spiraled and I think at one point it was the best selling Korean sunscreen out there. It has been pipped by a couple of other products actually that I'm going to get onto it later in the video but this is just a really really nice finish. I think this is a sunscreen which works best on drier skin types. It's got hyaluronic acid in there which is a great humectant to draw in and retain moisture within itself but it's also got some really nice hydrators alongside it too so it's probably one of the most hydrating of the truly Korean sunscreens on the market. Often you know because of the level of humidity in Korea you'll often see brands formulating with a more matte and more oil absorbent formulation. This is really good for drier skin types. It's just beautiful on that application. It's a chemical sunscreen and it disappears without a trace. Slightly thicker than maybe a lot of people might be used to in Korean sunscreens but that's because it's extra hydrating but you work that in and it just looks so so beautiful on the skin. It doesn't have a really intense chemical scent to it, which some um, chemical sunscreens can, which I personally really appreciate. And it's one of those that dries down really quick. So if you're looking for a sunscreen that you can apply to the skin, and then you can kind of get to work on your makeup fairly quickly afterwards, this is a really great option. Because some other sunscreens I've reached for, you have to let them sink in for like five minutes before you can apply anything on top. I'm always in a rush. So I really appreciate that about this product. It's affordable, it's really convenient. I like the size, you can throw it in your purse for reapplication. And yeah, it just looks really, really beautiful on the skin. Now in the third place, and this is probably gonna surprise a lot of people because this was my go-to Korean sunscreen for the longest possible time. It's actually only in third place in this year's list is this, the Beauty of Joseon Rice Relief Sunscreen. And um, like I say, a holy grail for the longest possible time because I just loved how truly invisible it was on the skin. You applied this and it disappeared like that. It wasn't really ashy, really heavy, like, you know, sometimes the older style sunscreens can appear. This was like a revelation. And I know it's this product that got a lot of people hooked on Korean skincare and Korean sunscreens in particular. It has been picked to the post by two other products that I'm gonna call out, but it is still a holy grail and one that I love. And um, I finished my last tube of this a while back, so this is actually me opening a new one for you guys today. But I'll probably, once I start using it, I realized, oh yeah, I forgot how much I absolutely love this. And I'll get through a tube relatively quickly because it becomes a go-to for me. Um, this, again, just look how quick, literally disappeared into the skin. Uh, it is that quick to absorb. I'd say it's all more on the hydrating side than it is on the oil controlling side. So it works really well for combination skin types, but I'd say combination dry is really like peak performance of this product when it comes to matching it to a skin type. It's got some really nice calming and soothing ingredients in here. So great if you've got very irritation prone skin and it's got some probiotics as well, which is just gonna help the microbiome of the skin. Again, doesn't leave behind a super glossy dewy look, nor a deadpan that one. It's that perfect like middle ground which I think we craved for so long but found really hard to actually you know deliver and then a lot of Korean sunscreens came along and they just worked. This definitely definitely worthy of replacing this list and whilst it might surprise a lot of people it's no longer the number one hopefully when I share the other two products you'll kind of understand but if this is your holy grail fangirl about it in the comment section below and keep on using it because definitely 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 a product that got a lot of people into Korean sunscreens and you can also buy like a geo kit where you get two and you can make a saving on it. I'll try and find the link to that kit and link it again in the description box because stocking up in bulk, a great way of saving some coin on your favorite sunscreens. Now 
in the runner-up spot is this product. This is the Tacobo Bio Watery Sun Cream. Now this features as like the number one in a lot of those sponsored Korean sunscreens videos that I referenced earlier. And actually taking the sponsorship out of it, it's actually worthy of that place. I was a little bit dubious about this when I first tried it because I thought, really? Is it going to live up to all of the hype? I'm here to say it definitely does. So a couple of things that are quite special about this. First of all, it's a vegan formulation. So if you're living a plant-based, animal-free lifestyle, then this is a really good option to go for. This is fragranced, and I know a lot of people are going to say, really, fragrance in skincare? I actually don't mind a little sensorial action in my skincare routine. The fragrances pick you up. They're, they're a key part of me enjoying my skincare routine. Now, fragrance in skincare isn't going to be for everyone, but you know what works for one person won't work for the other and vice versa. So it's all about shopping and using what works for you. If you like some fragrance, this is a great option and it smells divine, absolutely divine. So if I see how that runs, it's probably one of the more watery of the options on here, which means you just know on that first touch that it's going to absorb really quickly. Again, looks beautiful on the skin and it's got, I'd say the fragrance is a bit like, a bit like a rose garden, but it's not rose, it's just floral in general and I really like that. It's uplifting, it's invigorating, it screams like spring into summer and you know, we should be wearing our sunscreen all year round. So if you like a fragrance that matches the season, I definitely say for spring, this just matches it to perfection. A um, beautiful blend of different um, UV filters in here which gives you that broad spectrum coverage. All the products mentioned today actually have been tried, tested and independently verified, which means, you know, despite the Korean sunscreen scandal that I think put us off Korean SPF, say like three years ago, a lot of brands have come back, delivered the testing so we can see in full transparency exactly what we're getting. And I admire that. This is a really, really nice product that the packaging is great to travel with because it locks really well. So it's not going to spill all over your vanity, all over your suitcase. And yeah, it's just a really, really nice product. For me, I think this is the option you should go for if you like a little fragrance to your skincare and specifically to your sunscreens. It's uplifting and it's great, but it delivers the most beautiful finish on the skin. I don't know if that's translating on camera, but it almost just gives you that flawless sheen. I personally really, really love this one. And yeah, whilst it features as like the number one in just about all of the sponsored videos, I think without the sponsorship, it should still be in one of those top two or three positions because it's just one of those products that delivers. Now, drum roll please for the winner, the 10 out of 10, the holy grail, the best in show when it comes to Korean sunscreens. And you know, feel free to pause the video now and guess in the comments watch the channel even a nanosecond, you'll know it was always going to go to this product. This is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hilux Seeker Water Fit Sun Serum. Another ridiculously long name, but this, this is, yeah. So fragrance free. So going back to if you want a fragrance free sunscreen, this, the best of the best in the Korean skincare market. And um, it glides onto the skin and look at that pump. So I really appreciate a pump on my sunscreens. I think you get an easier application and it's quite difficult to find in Korean sunscreens. So that definitely gets an extra point for me. It's just, oh, you just put, you could literally bathe in this. It is so hydrating. It's so calming. It's nourishing. It just delivers a beautiful glow up on the skin. And oh, if you can see just how that translates, it gives the most beautiful, beautiful look to the complexion. Whilst it is fragrance free, it also doesn't smell, no, it doesn't smell too funky at all. It's got quite a few humectants in which are going to plump out the skin, hydrate it and give that really like juicy, healthy look. And it's also got a great range of calming and soothing ingredients. So I think this would work truly for everyone. Irritated skin? Try this one out. If you've got super dry skin type, this beautifully hydrating. If like me, you're super oily and acne prone, gives you that hydration without clogging the pores, without breaking you out, or leaving like you're feeling like you're wearing a mask. It's just an all around perfect product. It's getting 10 out of 10. It's number one in this list because it truly is wonderful. And this is a brand which I didn't always speak that highly of. You know, I was skeptical of them very early on because a lot of people were doing sponsored content around Skin 1004. And I thought, really, I just prefer it when brands let the products speak for themselves through word of mouth. Now that that sponsorship's died down, everyone's fangirling about this. And so I thought, let me try it. And I wish I tried it so, so much sooner. It's just, yeah, just a wonderful product.
So there you have it guys, my sunscreen top five for 2023. Like I say, I'm gonna to continue to use the Mad About Skin sunscreen day in, day out, because I feel that gives me the right amount of hydration versus really broad spectrum protection, makes my skin look beautiful, plump and dewy and doesn't break me out. But we all crave change. You know, we want something different in our skincare routine every now and then, and these are the five Korean sunscreens I always have on hand for when I do want to mix things up a little bit. That Tacoma one, great if you want a fragranced option. If you want fragrance-free, Skin 1004 or the Mad About Skin Sun Cream, either of them are going to definitely deliver for you time and time again, no matter what your skin type happens to be. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.